Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to get new Facebook fan page fans using advertising. Now, Facebook ads, are, I love them. They're fantastic. They're very targeted, and they only show your ad to the target market that you decide. You can choose things based on people's age, if they're male or female, if they have certain interests in their profile, all kinds of fantastic areas, location, all that stuff. You get to decide who sees your ad, and then if those people click on your ad, you know that they're your perfect customer because they're interested and they're your perfect demographic. So, let's talk about how you create your Facebook fan page ad and some do's and don'ts in here. So, uh, if you're on your fan page, you, they've got a little handy auto creator here, and you can just click on this, and it'll automatically fill in and design your ad. Now, you want to change this text a little bit here, and uh, make it a little more exciting. Zip it up a little bit. Um, so don't just don't just keep this standard body text here. Um, what you want to do is have a very distinct call to action. So make it exciting and make sure you click on, tell them to click on the like button so that they like you. Uh, people can become your fan without even going to your fan page. They can just click the like and boom, they're your fan, you've got them, and it costs you maybe about 50 cents. How nice is that? And they're your exact demographic. So um, you want to change this text and say, you know, tell them why to like you. If if you like, if your business is cupcakes, say if you like great cupcakes, like, click the like button. That's all you need to do. So that'll be a great compelling ad and you'll get a lot of likers. You want to have an image in there for sure. And then you can start targeting. If you're a local business, uh, you can you can click, say for example, I want to target anyone who's in Boulder. And then, what, oh, that's the country. Excuse me. So it's got the country, and then you can do by city, and you can say Boulder. Ah. Boulder, Colorado. Now it tells you how many people approximately you're going to reach. 1.6 million in the Boulder area. But then you can narrow it down. Say you want to advertise to only people who are, you know, 30 and up or something like that. Then you find out how many people that reaches. And then here you can target what they what they might have in their in their profile. So say you wanted to put cupcakes. I don't know how many people are going to say cupcakes in their profile. Thousand people. That's very targeted. So you're going to target the people who like cupcakes in Boulder, you know, and and they're going to see your ad and then hopefully click on it. So and then what it does is it gives you a choice of paper clicks or paper per impressions. Now, you really, I would recommend staying with the pay-per-click model um, because then you're only paying for anyone who clicks on your ad. And it gives you a suggested bid. Now, this, I would keep this bid. I'm not, a, I'm not an ad words expert, ads expert, but here's what I've seen. I've seen that you keep the, ma the, the bid that they suggest. If it's not getting a lot of views, maybe up it a little bit. Um, but what ends up happening is you usually don't always pay this bid. Sometimes it goes lower. It's just a whole crazy science there that we're not going to get into right now. So then you can go ahead and place your order. You can set, I usually set a budget of 10 bucks a day. Try it for one day. It'll cost you 10 bucks. That's not much. See how it works for you. Then you can find out how many fans you're getting for that $10. So you know, 20 fans cost you $10, maybe that's worth it to you. 20 targeted fans who might buy your product. I don't know. So it's a good experiment. I recommend just trying it, testing it out. I'm going to show you one other quick thing. If you don't want to advertise your fan page, you can advertise other things here. You go to the ads and pages area, and if you don't have this on the sidebar, you can usually scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's a little advertising button there. And here's some of the campaigns I've run in the past. And you say create an ad. 
over on the side. Oh, it's not there. Oh, create an ad on the side. And then you can design anything you want. But uh, So you can advertise your website and, again, get that targeted reach. So try Facebook ads. They're fantastic. A lot of bang for the buck there. All right. Hope that was helpful. Talk to you next time.